16 members of University of Pennsylvania's women's swim team say their transgender teammate Leah Thomas should not be allowed to compete in the collegiate championship next month. They sent a letter to the school which said this, we fully support Leah Thomas in her decision to affirm her gender identity and to transition from a man to a woman. However, we also recognize that when it comes to sports competition, that the biology of sex is a separate issue from someone's gender identity. Biologically, Leah holds an unfair advantage over the competition in the women's category. Thomas will likely still be able to compete despite the NCAA's new policy on transgender athletes. Um, real quickly, Emily, I want to come to you first just on how the law sees this. Right, so the, the point about this letter was essentially requesting that the school not challenge this NCAA policy because it might prohibit her from competing. And the landscape is that over 31 states have introduced similar bills, essentially uh, requiring athletes to compete in the division that they were, the sex that they were assigned at birth. The issue is one of discrimination on the basis of sex, which is because it's a constitutionally protected class, it's subject to strict scrutiny. Uh, however, two things, one, the school has said, well, we don't respond to letters in general. And secondly, oh. there's been a few um, injunctive relief issued by the court. So unfortunately, it's still honestly a gray area. But as essentially these policies try to rely on medical developments, I think that the bottom line of the unfairness seen by many athletes and those especially in women's sports groups uh -huh. who are advocating for the females, the biological females here, uh, that's where a lot of things are at play. I took notes, as I always do, when Emily's giving us legal advice. So, Caitlin, biology versus identity yes. is, what they're, is what they're saying, that, that this shouldn't happen for Leah Thomas to be able to compete as a woman because biology trumps the way she sees herself, identity. I've read a lot of comments by you, and I can't wait to hear what your reaction is. Emily's right. In this whole area, it's just a gray area. We don't know what to do. Um, first of all, I respect Leah Thomas's right to live her life authentically. I hope she's happy, lives a great life. Um, but when it comes to fairness, I've been very strong right from the beginning. Biological boys should not compete against women. We have to protect women's sports. Now, what I blame here is the rules. Um, the NCAA had rules on testosterone levels that obviously don't work. I mean, Leah Thomas, in her event, as a guy, she was raised, uh, she was ranked like 462 in the world. Uh, as a woman, she's ranked number one in the world. So obviously, it's not working. And, um, and so they need to change the rules. Well, they kicked the can down the road a few weeks ago and said that the governing bodies are going to make the rules. USA Swimming came in and actually came in with a lot tougher rules on testosterone levels that have to be more comparable to what a woman has. And I think that's a good thing. Um, so Leah Thomas may not be able to compete in the NCAAs. Um, we'll see. But it's the rules. This is a new subject. We're so trying to get it right. And I hope we can get it right eventually. Yeah, just real quickly. So do we put people in a different lane where they compete against each other? Do we put Leah Thomas back with the men? Just quick, what, what is the immediate answer? Because you, you only have a few years at this level as an athlete. From my standpoint, uh, the immediate thing is to do is I don't think she should be able to compete um, oh. at the highest level in the NCAAs. I, I just don't Period. think it's fair. Um, yeah, so... Um, I, I have no problem with that. Let's rethink this thing and we'll go from there. All right, we'll move on. They say they've got his back. Jon Stewart is the latest celebrity to back Joe Rogan as 